if the infect always reminds me of Heidegger, of that ridiculous Nazi Philistine. Just a stiff that has totally and in the most shameless manner kitchified great literature. So Heidegger, forest philosopher Heidegger, has kitchified philosophy. Heidegger and Stifter, each one for himself and in his own way, have hopelessly kitchified philosophy and literature. Heidegger, after whom the wartime and post-war generation have been chasing showering him with revolting and stupid doctoral thesis, even in his lifetime. I always visualize him sitting on his wooden bench outside his black forest house, alongside his wife who, with her perverse knitting enthusiasm, ceaselessly knits winter socks for him from the wool she has shown from the little sheep. I cannot visualize Heidegger other than sitting on the bench outside his black forest house, alongside his wife, who all her life totally dominated him and who knitted all his socks and crocheted all his caps and baked all his bread and wove all his bed linen and who had put up his sandals for him. Heidegger was a kitchen brain. A feeble thinker from the Alpine foothills, as I believe, and just about right for the German philosophical hot pot. For decades, Rabbi Nelson is spoon up that man Heidegger more than anybody else, and overloaded their stomachs with his stuff. Heidegger had a common face, not a spiritual one. Heidegger said he was. Through and through, a spiritual person, devoid of all fantasy, devoid of all sensibility, a genuine German philosophical prominent, a ceaselessly great German philosophical cow, I guess, grazed upon German philosophy and thereupon for decades, let its smart little cowpets drop on it. Heidegger is the petite bourgeois of German philosophy. The man based on German philosophy, his kitschy nightcaps, that kitschy black nightcap which Heidegger always wore on all occasions. Heidegger is the carpet slipper and nightcap philosopher of the Germans, nothing else. Mm. Denn diese Gruppen gehen nicht durch das Museum, sie laufen durch, gehetzt und durch. Und uninteressiert, vollkommen ermüdet von allen Eindrücken, die sie auf ihrer Reise nach Wien schon haben über sich ergehen lassen müssen. Eine Art Mythos. Aber sie nach Europa gehen lassen.